All the world awaits the promise of his birth. Chris, so good to be with you. Thank you, man. Man, I love these new songs for Christmas. I always get excited when you release Christmas music, and I didn't know if it was going to happen this year. We were, we were sitting around the office like, man, is Chris doing Christmas this year? Right. <laughs> I'm just like, very excited, and, and I'm really bummed because this is our first year, I think, in over a decade that we're not on Christmas tour. Every wow. Christmas I'm going out and do, I love, it's what I look forward to so much, and obviously this year because of... Um, COVID and everything that has kind of shut down touring and gathering like that, we can't do it. And so I'm a, I'm a little bit bummed. Mm. Yeah. Well, and I've told you this, man, but you have such a gift for equipping the church with these songs that are uh, expressive of the season, but also worshipful. I think that's the struggle for every worshiper. Mm-hmm. Come Christmas time, it's like, oh man, I got to sing, oh, come all you faithful and joy to the world and these songs, but I don't want to just do it in a way that I forfeit worship for the church. I mm-hmm. want the church to worship. And you've got a real gift of bringing these these elements together and Thank creating you. that worship Thank space, you. man. But I love this song, All the World Awaits, Hosanna. Yes. And man, I want to hear you talk about this because what I love about this song, and I, I can't think of a song that really does this like this song does, but bringing together you know, the ideas and the terms of like Hosanna and Lamb of God with the Christmas story. Yes is amazing, man. I, I don't know if I've ever heard a song do that, and I was just worshiping today to this song, and I was like, oh, my gosh. Like, Christmas is the beginning of the story, but it's all about, mm-hmm. you know, the sacrifice of Jesus. Mm-hmm. But talk about this song and just the lyric, man. It's so well done. Thank you so much. I wrote this with uh, Jason Ingram and Matt Marr. We wrote mm-hmm. this together. And I, I love this as well. I, because of the word, of using the word Hosanna, 
as the chorus of this song. Because when you when you think of Hosanna, I was looking, I was looking up recently again what Hosanna means. Mm-hmm. And when I was thinking about this, writing this song, and Hosanna has two meanings. It's a word of praise, of adoration, it's just it's just a word of adoration, and then also has a translation of please save us. Mm-hmm. And it's used in the scripture around uh, just before, when Jesus is coming back into Jerusalem before he is uh, crucified. And, you know, when he's coming on the donkey and the people gather and they put the palm leaves down, they say, Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. And I think what an, uh, what an amazing praise of, uh, of that is. But then I was thinking, what an incredible time, what a beautiful thing to use that for Christmas, that word for Christmas. You, I mean, there's not a more, maybe more beautiful word of praise, Hosanna, please save us. I mean, mm-hmm. of Jesus being born, here is the Savior of the world to come to save. And so, yes, try, this song is trying to bring the whole message um, of, of, of Jesus into not just the birth, but the birth and the death and the reason that we celebrate the birth because of life, because of, because of what Jesus... A friend of mine told me this once, and it blew my mind. I've never thought of it... Uh, I'd never thought of it before. He said, you know, Jesus is the only one who ever chose to be born. Jesus is the only person who ever lived who ever chose to be born. None of us chose it. Mm-hmm. We were just born. Jesus chose it. He left heaven to be born that he might save us. And he came for more than just to be born and us to have a beautiful time of once a year, Christmas with snow and everything like that. He came to save the world. and He knew that he would come to die. Mm-hmm. And I think that this song really brings the whole message of the gospel from the birth to the death in and why we celebrate Christmas and why it is new life and all those kind of things and uh, and so I, I love that saying that just please come save us and even in the chorus I just you hear in this little refrain that is sung with me I thought I, I would love for I would love to hear people sing it back and forth mm-hmm. Hosanna King Jesus Hosanna all praise Hosanna mm-hmm. come save us wow. Hosanna he reigns in the highest Hosanna to our God and yeah, I, I mean, writing with Jason and Matt obviously is. Uh, if you can't write a good song with when you got those guys <laughs> in the room, you need to do something else. <laughs> but um, I, I love how this song is. I feel like it's one of those songs like you said that that can be sung for any church over the Christmas season, and that's why I look for is I want to write songs that people can sing. And you know, it's a whole other it's a whole other episode to talk about. But just briefly. When you think about these great songs, "Oh Come All You Faith," "Oh Hark the Herald Angels Sing," when they wrote those songs, those they weren't thinking I'm writing a Christmas carol. I mean, that wasn't in the vocabulary, right? Sure. They were thinking that's a song of worship. Mm-hmm. It was a song of worship for that moment for church in the in the in the church, mm-hmm. and they've become such standards. We call them carols today, but I, I, I I've always been about just recapturing these great songs as as worship, not as I think sometimes we go into. Christmas carol mode, and it's we just go into we know all the lyrics, and it just kind of comes out. Yeah. But man, when you think about what you're saying in these songs, they're some of the best written songs it, that have ever mm. been written. And my songs don't, don't don't touch those, but in my own way, I try to do that, bring worship and and give a sense of worship and wonder around around um, the Christmas season. Yeah, and I love you know that bridge, and then that outro chorus, man, it's just. It's just worship. Yeah, I took it. I took uh, so good. Hark the Herald Angels Sing, some of the great lyrics from that, and just said, how, did, how can we sing that? Because uh, I think that's one of the most, if I were to say, if you were just to deconstruct a song, mm-hmm. just go look up Hark the Herald Angels Sing and take it line by line and see if it doesn't just really, you're talking about doing a devotion. Wow. It will blow you away. So I just started singing, Hail the heaven-born Prince of Peace. Hail the Son of Righteousness. Light and life to all he brings. Glory to the newborn King. I mean, that's as good a writing as it gets, right? And so I just was trying to sing a new melody with that to to anchor that going into Hosanna, mm. Ho- Hosanna. And, uh, yeah, I'm excited to s- sing this one, um, hopefully this Christmas season at some point when we get to we, at church or wherever. That's right, maybe a smaller group. <laughs> it might be in my house around my piano, but we'll be singing right. it. Man, just a great song, Chris. Walk us through what you're playing there. You're in B I'm flat in B flat. Today. I recorded yeah. it in B. Um, but I'm in B flat uh, for this version. Uh, again, a little bit easier to sing, not quite pegging the top the whole time. But um, you're just kind of holding that B, and you, you kind of drone it with the B with the B flat and the B flat sus. And so, all the world awaits the promise of His birth. Open up the gates, just a sus. Heaven come to earth. 
That's all the, the verse is, simple. The king of every king, our Emmanuel, and it just falls into the, into the chorus. Hosanna to the five. Hosanna to the six minor. Hosanna to the four. Hosanna to one over three. In the highest, Hosanna five to our God. So that's the verse and chorus, and then just kind of launch into that bridge. Hail the heaven born prince of peace. So five to four to six. Hail the son of righteousness. Back to the five. Light and light to all he brings. Six minor. Glory to our newborn king. Five over seven. Hosanna. Into the chorus. One, five, six minor, four. Um, simple as that. Wow. Chris, thank you so much for sharing this song, man. Mm. I can't wait for churches to hear this and be able to sing it this Christmas. So thank, thank you, brother. Hail the heaven, born prince of peace.